Hello guys, this video is pretty short and will give you everything you need to know about Photoshop masks, what it means and what are the benefits when we use them. The mask is a kind of a guardler that we work on, which means that if I want to delete some areas or spots, I can use the mask layer and if I regret it, I can easily delete it or even apply the changes again. I will demonstrate it right now. So basically there are several ways to cut out the image. We can use the polygonal lasso tool and select the area. Just like that. There's another option, which is the brush itself. We can select the area really gently, like that. At the moment when we need to cut out trace like this one, I personally recommend to use Magic 1 tool on Tolerance 20 and I'll trace this area, even several times. Also here, let's zoom in and even here let's fix it. Let's see. Alright, so at the moment I've selected everything that I wanted. Basically, I'm pressing this button, which is actually our mask button. When I press it, as you can see, it unlocks the background layer, and I can do this thing. I can press here on invert and basically replace between the blacks and whites on the mask layer. As you can see, the dressing here is pretty good. There is another way to invert the colors. Click on Ctrl plus I, and that's the result. Cool. Real easy and convenient. Let's create a new layer and place it under the layer that we're working on. Right now I'm picking a background color. I want something close to the hair color, like this one. And let's color it. Cool. Okay, so, the mask itself scans automatically with this button, which connects between the main layer and the mask layer. If I cancel it and try to move one of them, the mask will stay on the same place. Personally, I recommend to work with the connection between the layers because it's way more comfortable in case you want to change the position of the main layer. Okay, so another option that we have on the mask is if we want to add some effect layer. At the moment we're adding, let's pick for example color balance. The effect itself comes automatically also with mask layer. And right now, the effect layer affects everything that plays under it which means it's affecting on the image layer and also on the background. If we hold ALT until this icon appears, which actually affects only on the layer that is placed below it, which means only on this layer. Let's do it like that, okay, and I'll set the settings like that to show the color differences between them. Something like that. If I want, I can simply pick the mask layer on the effect and with the black brush I can select whatever I want and delete areas from the mask. If I regret, I can click on the keyboard X to change the color to white and select the area. X and deleting again. Just playing with the X. That's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I hope you learned. Link to download the tutorial via Patreon as a PSD file is in the description. Thank you guys and good luck.